right, y'all, we are going into week 15, and we are currently the number two seed. Panthers are number one, and they're 11 and two. And right now, we're 9, 3, and 1. So if we just keep winning games and hopefully they start losing a little bit, we'll be able to get the number one seed. And if we want the number one seed, it all starts here. We have to win here at MetLife against the Jets. On first and 10, we already starting off great on defense. They catch this ball in a little slant or whatever. I come through and strip that ball out of his hands. Offense has a chance to go ahead and score. We just been locking up this whole first half. We're at 14 to 0. I tried to come back on this little stop route or whatever he just ran, but he got the first down. I forgot to tell y'all, D-Hop is actually on this team, and that's why I'm guarding his me with a little slant. Then on first and 10, like I said, we, we struck guarding tight ends. Tight ends wide open for an easy touchdown. Fourth quarter now. We're up 17 to 10. And it's second and 10. They're in the red zone. He almost scores this touchdown. He gets stopped at the one, though. They end up scoring on that drive, but our offense came through in the clutch and actually scored right after they did. And honestly, our quarterback really was trash. One touchdown, two picks, that's tough. And this whole game, we were just locking up the whole time. As you can see, none of them had no yards. Now, looking at the other conference, my little brother actually had the second seed, and they're trying to keep that seed so that they can play against the Texans. Now, in week 16 against the Chargers, he actually lined up at the running back position and gets an easy first down. Then on third down, he gets a step on the cornerback. Justin Herbert throws this ball up, and I don't know what happened on this play. I don't know if he lost track of the ball or if it got overthrown, but that's tough. Next drop is 0-0, zero to zero, and Justin Herbert throws this very, very dumb pick that he shouldn't have even thrown. Like, come on. Now, you're playing against your former team. You got to go crazy. You're, you're doing bad. Now they're down 7-0, to zero, and Jordan gets open in the middle of the field and makes this crazy catch in between three defenders. That was a nice pass, too. Now they're further down the field, and on second and ten, he gets open on this cross around, catches the ball, he gets the first and more. In the red zone, if you're on the island with Jordan, just know you're not going to stop him. That's an easy touchdown. Seven to seven on third down, and this nigga Justin Herbert throws another pick. He did not have to throw that. He could have at least just threw it to Jordan if you want to throw a dumb pass or something. Jordan probably would have caught it. When I tell you, Justin Herbert has high highs but low lows. He throws picks, but at the same time, he throws these hot dots in between defenders. Not too many quarterbacks can do. With seven seconds left on the clock, there's nobody else you want to throw this ball to than Jordan. He beats the defender over the top and scores a touchdown. Them two picks at the beginning of the game are really coming back to haunt the Raiders right now. I mean, Jordan's doing all he can to try to come back into this game, but hey, man, it's just not working. I mean, they're down 24 to 14. Just look at the plays Jordan is making. It's a dot from Justin Herbert for another touchdown. But unfortunately, even though Jordan had a crazy game, they still lost 24 to 21. And I mean, th those, those two picks he threw, he should have never thrown. But, hey, that boy had 167 yards and three touchdowns this game. Amazing. All right, now, for our Week 16 matchup, we're playing against the Giants, who might be the team that we play if we end up in a wild card. Up 7-3, to and on second down, this little fast nigga hits me with the little quick slant. Hey, man, this thing got a lot of fast players on it. Now, on first and goal, he tries to hit me with the same slant, but I'm on that. But if you ain't know, if you don't remember, Jalen Hurts is on this team. He scrambles and gets a rushing touchdown. Up 14 to 10 in the third quarter, and Jalen Hurts, have you not learned? Why don't you just understand? You cannot test Gabe Allen. You can't do that. And now at this point, they just cannot catch a break. We're up 21 to 10, and Saquon fumbled. That's tough. Up 28 to 10 now, and this game's basically over. It's the fourth quarter, two minutes left, and Jalen Hurts tried to test me. Don't do that. I could have had that pick. A pretty dominant win. I'm pretty sure if we would have played them in the playoffs, we'd dominate them again. Look at our QB. He ain't throw no picks, three touchdowns. And man, it was just clamps. Boy, just straight clamps over here. 
And I caught her pick this game, man. Let's go. Week 17, now we're playing against the Chargers on first and 10. Receiver catches this ball, and I hit stick him and force a fumble, but the ball is out of bounds. I tried not to pick it up and let my teammate pick it up, but I was kind of forced to pick it up. This has been a pretty boring game for me. I haven't been getting tested at all. We're winning 17 to 14 in the fourth quarter, and he just does not want to throw the ball to me at all. There's less than a minute left in this game. They've just been hurrying up this whole drive, and on second down, he throws a touchdown. So now we're down, and I don't... I don't know if offers will be able to score. We don't got too much time left. But we do have three timeouts. And would you look at that? Offense actually went down the field with their three timeouts and scored a touchdown. Wow. Offense really came in clutch this game. We went 24 to 21. That boy QB, three touchdowns, one pick. That's good. We need more of that. In another game, we just we just locked up. You know what I'm saying? Keenan Allen ain't had none. Jordan Addison ain't had none. Now, for the last game of the season, we're playing against the Denver Broncos. I love playing this team. On first and 10, they got all the way down to the red zone. And who do you think scored a touchdown? The tight end, of course. Unfortunately, offense did not score, so we're down 7-0. And the quarterback threw it up to Tariq Woolen. And thank you, Tariq Woolen. Like I said, he turning up the second half of the season. Big pick. At this point, I don't know what that quarterback is thinking or what he's doing. He tries to scramble and just throw this ball up or whatever. And it goes right to our linebacker. That's another pick for us. Third and 13. I get killed on this little zig route. But guess what? It's my turn to catch a pick. Give me that. Now we're up 17 to 7, and Jerry Judy trying to get his little get back. He kills me on the corner route. I gotta tackle him. He can't get no more than that. Now, this is what really annoys me, and man. I'm going to slant route. My teammates just get in my way. So he gets a wide open catch, and he breaks a tackle and scores a touchdown. Hey, I, I don't care. That don't count. I mean, like, like, what am I supposed to do? You know what I'm saying? I, I got bumped. You feel me? It is what it is. All right, now, first and 10. Now, look, this time, I understand. He actually beat me on this line. I took the wrong angle at trying to catch that pick. And I allowed a touchdown. This, this, this one actually counts. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You feel me? At this point, Jerry Judy is just cooking me. On third and 10, he runs his route. It was kind of weird, but that, Q, that QB put that ball on the money. But at least on third and 12... We locked up on this play and did not let them score a touchdown, so they got to kick a field goal. But then, of course, our offense sells us, so now the Broncos get the ball back and they score another touchdown, and we'll probably be going to OT. We are indeed in OT, and this tight end is literally just killing us. He gets them in field goal range. Then on second and 10, somehow, their running back, Ramon J. Stevenson, gets open in the back of the end zone. Toe tap, touchdown, game winner. But that was the last game of the season. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying, we still have a chance to have the number one seed, which you got to hope. I guess QB did what he could. He almost passed for 300 yards with two touchdowns, no picks, so I guess it was on us. Out of every receiver I done guarded, this is the worst I done been done. Three catches, 93 yards, and a touchdown. I also allowed the other touchdown, but, like, really, it, it don't matter because I got bumped. Though in this game, me, Jamal Adams, and Tariq Willen caught a pick. We still lost. We got to go into the playoffs, and we got to play hard. And as y'all can see, we got the number one seed, so... We get the bye. And the Raiders been losing games, so the team they got play against is the Bills in the first round. And them boys actually end up beating the Bills, so for the second round of the playoffs, they get to play against my former team, the Chiefs. Raiders Devin been playing pretty good in the first quarter. It's 7-0 in the second quarter. He almost scores a touchdown. Now, second goal, he runs a slant. I don't know how this wasn't picked off, but hey, man, they scored. 
The Chiefs offense is looking very, very mid. They're down 14 to zero, and he gets his first down off of third and 14. Then on second and 10, the second quarter is coming to an end. He gets open, but quarterback throws to the guy behind him. Hey, man, they still score the touchdown. They're up 21 to zero. Honestly, I don't under, I don't even know how, but the Raiders defense isn't that good, but they've been locking up the Chiefs the whole game. I mean, it's a blowout. Looks like my little brother's going back to the conference championship. Mahomes was two touchdowns with two picks, 250 yards, and Justin Herbert played great. And my little brother always show up. Seven catches, 132 yards, and two touchdowns. It's pretty clear we, we had the best defense in the league. We went 35-7. to seven. They couldn't compete. QB ain't even had to pass for over 200 yards. We, we were just locking up. I mean, you can't see none of their receivers, like, up there at all. Like, they receivers just all getting locked. And I caught a pick this game. Now we're in the conference championship. And we have a chance to play against my little brother in the Super Bowl. We got to win. Third and one. And when are QBs going to learn? Win. Up 10-0. They made it all the way down to the red zone. It's first and goal. And Bryce Young throws another pick. But this time, to my boy Tariq Wood. Offense didn't score. And somehow, they end up back on this side of the field. I try to bait up another route. But Bryce Young ain't trying to throw another pick. He gets sacked. Then on third and 21, they just trying to get up the field a little bit. We're not letting them score a touchdown, though. They're going to have to kick a field goal. It's third quarter now, second to 10. I'm in the cover three, trying to bet up a route, but I kind of bet it a little bit too hard. Still made him drop the ball, though. Then on third and 10, I tried to bet up this route. I thought he was actually throwing it to him, but he was not. He was throwing it to the sideline. He got tackled fourth down. They got to punt the ball. They done made it to the red zone again, and on second and 10, Bryce Young is taking way too long to throw the ball. He gets sacked. It's a strip sack. And we picked the ball up. Offense is really selling this game. First and 10, I get beat on this curl route, but my recovery is amazing. I still somehow make him drop the ball. You know, second and 10, I'm in the cover three. I get bumped a little bit. I'm trying to bet the route, though. He beats me over the top, and I still make him drop the ball. I'm just like that. Now, look, I don't know what's going on with Bryce Young or whatever, but look, he tried to test me again, and this time, I'm picking this ball off, and I'm going to try to return this. But, uh, yeah, I hit a spin move and got hit, and I fumbled. So, yeah. But they ruled that my knee was down or something, my elbow was down or whatever. They overturned it. It's our ball. Offense almost sold the game again. We still won 10-7, to though. QB passed for 101 yards with no touchdowns and no picks. At least he ain't throw a pick, I guess. And, man, when I tell y'all, we locked up this game. And me and my boy Woodland both had to pick this game. Now, who would have had thought? I'm playing against my little brother in the Super Bowl. The last time we played each other in the playoffs, it was the conference championship. He went on to win the Super Bowl, but this time we're playing against each other in the Super Bowl. This is going to be crazy. It's 10-7 to 7 in the second quarter. I'm in the cover three. He wants a curl route. I wait for the quarterback to throw the ball, and you already know. Seventeen to seven now, and he's running the slant. I'm on that. I don't know why the quarterback would throw this. It just seems like Justin Herbert is really trying his hardest to get Jordan to do something in this game. He throws the ball deep. He actually has me over the top, but I still make him drop the ball. Then on second and seven, they finally catch a break. Justin Herbert throws the ball to his tight end, and he gets a big game. He don't score a touchdown on this play, but they're definitely in range for it. Then on first and ten, Justin Herbert actually throws his ball to Jordan again, but Jamal Adams is sitting in the middle of the field lurking. He catches a pick. Now, offense didn't score, but they did take out a lot of time. It's about a minute left in the fourth quarter, and we get another little stop. 
Now on fourth down, I'm in a cover three, just sitting in the back of the end zone, waiting for him to throw this ball. He actually throws it, and I catch another pick. Now, somehow, offense is really trying to sell this game. It's still 20 to 14. They have a chance to probably do something, but they have no timeouts. They catch the ball inbounds, and it's over. And I win my fourth Super Bowl in five years, 20 to 14. Sorry, Jordan. Our quarterback played very mid, but Justin Herbert threw four picks, and that's why we won this game. I'm scrolling through to see my little brother's stats, but he had no catches in this game. I just locked him up, and he had zero catches, but I had three picks in this game. He just completely just took this game over, boy. As y'all can see, I win Super Bowl MVP. I did not win Defense Player of the Year, but still had an amazing season. This season, I had 11 picks. Tariq Willen had three, but... Hey, he got them all at the end of the season. I don't know why he wasn't catching that at the beginning. Probably just locking niggas up too hard. And that boy Jordan almost had 1,800 yards with 11 touchdowns. That's amazing. I ain't gonna lie, man. At this point, I'm the greatest player of all time. Forget cornerback, forget defensive player. The best player. Four and five years as a cornerback? Come on, now. Hey, man, if y'all want this story to continue, go ahead and hit that like button, y'all.